What is up? It's Logan, and welcome back to another video. Alright, so today, I haven't done this since last year, but I should have just made the video since, like, January when it's New Year. Like, you know, four months ago. But, um, this is about, uh, my opinions of the movies that's from 2022, which is Movies 2022 Tier List. Last year, I did Movies 2021 Tier List, which is all of it are my opinions. But this time, it's going to be a tier list of movies that is from 2022. But if you have any different opinions of anything like that, like, you don't have any of the same opinions of mine, just try to respect it. Don't disrespect it, because, you know, I hate bad comments. So just try to respect my opinions about anything like that, okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, there will be spoilers if I'll tell them what it's all this about or something like that. Pretty sure I just, uh, pretty sure I just don't want to talk about more of any movies or something like that, or maybe I really like to. But, just let you know that it will be spoilers if I will tell them all about it. Just let y'all know that. But anyways, without further ado, let's do this. Alright, got my laptop ready, and here we go. Okay, so here's the tier list, and here's all the movies that is from 2022. So, without further ado, let's review it if I've seen any of it. Okay, so the first one is Hotel Transylvania 4, which is Hotel Transylvania Transformania. Even though I like tra Hotel Transylvania... Oh, I can't speak today. Even though uh, I, re I like the Hotel Transylvania franchise, I really enjoyed it. But this one, I think it's... I don't know. I think it's either okay or bad or I'm not so sure about my opinion, but I think that it's okay. I I'm I don't know I don't think that that movie is really great. It's just it's just uh, um I don't know. I know it's about when uh this Ray uh it just turns to anybody which is monsters turns to humans and humans turn into monster, which is that situation. Um yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to say about that. If you want to see some clips of any of the movies, that will be alright with that. But, yeah, I just put it okay. Even though I like Hotel Transylvania and Franchise, but I think that one is just something else to me. Okay, next one is... Oh yeah, I... I watched Scream Franchise. And I didn't see Scream 6. But, I actually seen Scream 5, which is Scream. And, um, I think it's... Yeah, let me just try to put it up. Not okay. I just thought it was great. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I didn't know the, the uh, original characters, which is uh, Sydney and Gale Weathers and uh, Dewey. Oh, Dewey. Okay, um, this is the part. Okay, so um, I know that uh, Dewey is a police officer and sheriff or anything like, like that. But he had a retirement from the, in this movie. And then uh, later on, when um, there's a hospital scene, and he's about to uh, kill uh, Ghostface, but Ghostface is just kill uh, Dewey. Even though Dewey had multiple stabs in any movies, but he sadly he died. Which he is one of my favorite uh, Scream character. Which is sadly that he's dead. I'm pretty sure. Um, I know that, that most of you all are not. Interested in the horror movies or anything like that. If you want to see uh, some um, clips or anything like that, it may be all good if you don't care about spoilers. But anyways, uh, yeah, Scream 5, I think it's great. So, um, next one. Oh, I Sage. Yeah, that's just a butt wild. Even though I like I Sage franchise, but this movie, I think it's bad. I'm not a fan of that movie. I mean, I like I like to see Bud Wilder in there. I mean, he is a really good character. But in the movie, it's, it's just this movie. I know that it, that Disney owns um the Ice Age franchise right now since Blue Sky just shut down. But that I I think it's bad. I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of uh, that movie. I I like any Ice Age movies, but this I'm not a fan of it. So I think it's bad. Okay, so. Next one is Uncharted, the video game movie. Okay, so I know the fact that uh, I've seen that movie in the theaters with um 
with Pablo on one, and he is a he's really a fan of Uncharted. He plays a lot of games of it, but um, when we see the movie, he hates it. It's mostly because of that anything is just not like from the game or something like that. But to me, well, even though I didn't play Uncharted games, but I think it's good. I pretty enjoy that movie. I mean, people want to respect my opinion. We all have to respect our opinions. But I think it is a good movie. It's just, uh, I'm glad to see Tom Holland there. Um, well, I'm ha I'm just happy to see him. I know he plays as Nathan Drake. And I know Mark Wahlberg was there, which that's his name. And, surprise and surprise, Antonio Banderas is in that movie. And, there was some explanation about that. But, I think Uncharted is a good movie. I'm not gonna lie, though. We all had to respect our opinions, right? Okay, so... Okay, definitely not interested with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even though I've seen Pennywise and Michael Myers and Ghostface, but I'm not interested with Leatherface, so... No thank you. But The Adam Project, um... It's only on Netflix. But it's, it, the main character is Ryan Reynolds. The, you know, the dude who plays uh, Deadpool in any of the, the characters that we know. Um... But the Adam Project, it's about what, um, I forgot his name, but I'm just saying Ryan Reynolds. It's about when, uh, he see, he's going back to time, um, to see, uh, a 12 year old version of himself, and both of them are going to work together to just save the world from any bad guys or something like that. You're just save the future or something. But, um, for the uh, Adam uh, Project, oh, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a good one. I'm not gonna lie though. Um, yeah, I just I just don't know what I'm thinking about it. It's just a really good movie, but it's on Netflix. It's PG thirteen, so you have so you go ahead and watch it if you want to. If you didn't see it, I just don't know what I'm gonna say. Okay, so oh oh the Batman. Okay, so um, we haven't seen it. I know it's it's a long movie. I get that it felt long, but I think it's. Let me just try to. Uh, I think this is a. Uh, I think it's a great one. I'm not gonna lie though, because even though Batman is one of my favorite DC characters, about that, and I know that uh, most of my friends are not a DC person, and I pretty much I'm not. Well, I like DC. I'm just not. But you get what I'm talking about. I like DC and something like that. But I think that one is just a pretty great movie. I know that it's um. Robert Pattinson who plays Batman. Um, well, just a new Batman. And I know that that second one will come out in like a couple of years or something like that. But I think it was a really great one. It just surprised me. And I know it just felt long. But I just, I just put it right there. Just, you know. Okay. Turning red. I know that uh, um, I've seen the many me memes about... Disney versus Dreamers versus Illumination or something like that. I know that a lot of people just are not really a fan of Turning Red because I know that people didn't like Turning Red because for some reasons. But, um, to me, I think it was okay or good or something like that. I appreciate people are going to judge me for that, but either okay or good or blah, blah, blah or whatever that is. I'm just going to put it good. I know what people are like. Hogan, okay, you like Tony Red? That's a bad movie! <laughs> I, I get that. We have to respect our opinions, man. I I understand that. I understand anything about that, but I pretty enjoyed it, I guess. I'm not so sure if I think it's a good or okay, but I'm just gonna put it good just in case. Um, but I know there's some Disney Pixar situation last year. Whatever that is. Okay, so next movie. Oh yes. Sonic Movie 2. Okay, so... Sonic Movie 2. What I think of it? <laughs> uh, you know what I'm gonna think about it. Okay, just... Um, I think... It's a... Perfect movie. It just surprised me! It surprised me for anything like that! The way I've seen it in theaters, I was so excited to see this. I'm glad to see movie Sonic back. And I'm... I'm I laugh my butt off when I see uh Doctor Robotnik being crazy like you no know, being Jim Carrey thing. I'm happy to see Tails like movie Tails. I'm happy to see Knuckles like movie Knuckles. 
I'm so surprised on her. It, everything is like a video game. I'm just... I'm just very enjoying seeing that movie. And you know what else has just surprised me? Supersonic. Supersonic in that movie. And destroy the Death Egg robot. That's just flipping surprised me. I was so happy. And <laughs> I was so happy to see it. It's just everything. As a huge fan of Sonic, I really, really enjoy that movie. That is one of my favorite uh, movie from 2022. So it has to be perfect. And I know the fact that the end post credits thing, I was so, so surprised that Shadow is there. Like, movie Shadow. And I was so, so surprised. And um, a good song, Stars in the Sky, it started, became my favorite song. This is a relaxing and a really good enjoy or something like that. But Saw Movie 2 has to be the best movie in my opinion. Morbius. I have not seen it. I try my best to watch it. I know that a lot of people are not a fan of it. But it's on Netflix. I will probably go to see it. But I haven't seen Morbius. So, yeah. I know a lot of you guys are not a fan of it. Okay, so next one. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Okay, so... I think that movie, uh, the first uh, MCU movie from uh, 2022, I think it's either great or good, or... I'm just gonna put it good. I know Sam Raimi directed that movie, and it just kind of felt like a horror movie. But I'm surprised to see any characters to be there. Like, um... Uh, Professor X, he returns, and that makes me so surprised. And I knew that he's gonna be there. Because of why I've seen him... Well, like, well, the way I see the trailer, it sounded just like him. And it, I knew that he was going to be there. And I know that uh, any characters like Reed Richards, like Mr. Fantastic, uh, Black Ball, uh, Captain Carter, which she's from What If, um, and uh, the other version of Captain Marvel. And even though Scarlet Witch is the villain of that movie, even though at the end what she realized what has she done. But she just killed the... Oh my gosh, she just... He killed the, the, um, what is it called? Illuminati? But, um, yeah, I think it's a, a good movie. Um, it just surprised me. I, I know that there's a new characters, but, but I'm just gonna put it right there. I have no idea what I'm gonna say. But just so I know that. Okay, so, next movie. Alright, so next movie. The Bad Guys. What did I think of The Bad Guys? Should I call the good guys? Because that's actually a really great one. Hey, let me just put this for a sample. But it's more than good. Let me just try to put it up. It was an awesome movie. Hey, let me just put it over there. So the first time seeing that movie, I, I think it was awesome. I really enjoy any characters. I really enjoy about what's going to happen in this one. Yeah, I know the fact that the, I... Put Mr. Wolf and Diane were in my channel. But that was like before I figured that happened. Yeah, I thought it was really awesome. And I know some of my friends are thinking that that movie is really amazing. I think it's their favorite one. But the way I've seen it two times in Netflix, it started to become one of my favorite DreamWorks movie. I'm not going to lie, though. But, um, boy, perfect or awesome, perfect or awesome. Um,. I'm just gonna put perfect because boy, it was starting to be an amazing one. Because you know, I was, I was surprised for any like any scenes. Um, I have no words to say. It was a really, really great one. It was a really amazing one. Mr. Wolf and Diane started became one of my favorite characters for that movie. I I really enjoyed that movie. I put it perfect. So right next to Sonic movie too. It's yeah, it was an amazing one. I'm pretty sure T. Walker would be so surprised about that. Yeah, it's just in my opinions right now. I thought it was awesome, but now it's starting to become perfect. Because I've seen it all like three times. Alright, next movie. Alright, so Jurassic World Dominion. I know the fact that uh, most of the people did not like that movie, but I've seen it in theaters like probably two times. And all that for seeing it two times, I think it's, I think it's a good one. I know that uh, a lot of people did not like that movie because for some reasons, 
But I really enjoyed it. I'm glad to see the original characters from uh, Jurassic Park franchise to be in this one. I think this is a great conclusion. Um, I think it's a good con conclusion for um for that movie. But who knows? I think it was a good one. I'm not gonna lie. All right, next movie. All right, next movie is Lightyear. Okay, so um, I know a lot of people did not like that, but um, what I think about that movie, well, it's not a good one. Um, well, it's kind of, well, I don't know, but um, just be wondering to think about it. Um, great or good, great or good, uh, I I don't know. But I'm just gonna put, uh, I think I'm gonna go, um, I'm just gonna put, uh, I think I'm gonna put the right one for so far. Um, I like that movie, but I have, like, some problems with that movie. I'm confused, I'm confused about the, um, the Zerd reveal. I mean, I'm surprised about that, yeah, but I know that a Toy Story franchise, it's his father, but it's, it was, um, Buzz's future, Buzz future himself. But I enjoyed it. Um, but Chris Evans did a good job with Buzz Lightyear. Um, it's, it's better than turning red. I'm just, I think, I thought it was great. It's just, I just have some problems with it sometimes. But, um, but yeah, I, I think that's that. Don't judge me in the comments. If you do not like that movie. I respect that. But. Yeah I know how it feels. For not liking that movie. I definitely know why. But anyways. Alright. Next movie. The Boss Burgers movie. Huh. Well I. Did seen it. I know that I didn't even see. Boss Burger show a lot. Um. But. I think it's okay. Yeah I think. Uh, I thought it's uh, Okay. I know that you guys haven't seen it. I know some of you guys are do not like it, but um, eh, it's okay. I'm just not. I just didn't watch that stuff all the time, but um, yeah, that's that. All right, next. Okay, so oh, Minions: The Rise of Gru. Um, what do I think of that movie? I have no idea what I'm gonna say. I really enjoy that one. I'm just gonna say it's it's an awesome movie. I mean, I mean it's right it's ready to see the minions again, and especially that grew as as a kid. It kind of explains um how minions are like the best minions for Gru. Um, yeah, I know the fact that um that Kevin and Stewart and Bob are still the main characters for the, the minions movies since uh, the first one. Yeah, I think that one's uh, better than in the first one. I really enjoyed it. And I'm really excited to see any Illumination movies, like how I've seen Mario movie. So I'm just going to put it right there. So, that was an awesome movie. Next movie. Alright, next movie. Uh, oh, Chip and Dale. You know, um... <laughs> I pretty much enjoyed it. Um... Well, it's more than good. I'm just gonna put, um, I think it's a great one. You know, um, I pretty laugh. I pretty much laugh at, at any of this stuff. There's so many cameos, and uh, especially the ugly version of Sonic. Well, you know, the the old Sonic design from the Sonic movie. <laughs> I'm glad that, uh, that other Sonic, the movie Sonic, are better than, uh, Ugly Sonic, I pretty much, I, I like Ugly, I pretty like Ugly Sonic, I just didn't expect that he'll be there, I know a lot of people did not like him, but, you know, I'm just, wasn't expecting seeing him in that movie, I mean, all that, because of the, um, Paramount just, like, kick him out and find a better movie Sonic, but, um, Ugly Sonic was in there, but, um, Chip and Dale and Rescue Rangers, it just surprised me, there's so many cameos. Um, I wasn't expecting like any of the films. Um, 
but I really enjoy that movie, so I'm just going to put a great one. Alright, so, next movie. I started watching Top Gun, which is the first movie, but I haven't seen uh, the second one, and I heard a lot of people like that, so. I'm going to put a not seen, so I'm just interested in seeing that one. Yeah, I already seen the first Top Gun, and I'm starting to be interested in seeing another one. Toronto Bullet Train. Papa 101 showed me a bullet train a little bit before I just head home. And I started thinking it was good, but I haven't seen the whole thing, so I'm just gonna put, um, not seen. I'm just gonna not, not seen since I haven't seen the whole thing. Alright, so, and yeah, it's Ray R, so I don't know about that, guys. Alright, so, um, Dragon Ball Z. Huh. I haven't seen that one. Oh, nope. <laughs> I haven't seen Nope, but, um, it looks, it looks scary, I'm not gonna lie, but I haven't seen it, so. Pause of Fury. One of my friends seen it, but I have not seen it, so I'm just gonna put a not seen. So, I know, I know the fact that it's in, um, it's in Prime, and it's in streaming, and it's free, so I'll probably go to see it next time, so. Alright, so next movie. Oh, DC League of Super Pets. Huh, um, to be honest, I'm just trying my best to what I'm thinking of that movie. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's just, uh, um, it's either good or great. Um, it wasn't really expecting that, but, um, I know that Dwayne Johnson is voicing Crypto, and Kevin Hart is voicing, like, like, like that dog, I forgot his name, but, um, I wasn't expecting that, like, any scenes. I really enjoyed it, but I'm just gonna put... Great, I guess? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was DC League of Super Pets. Okay, so, next movie. Thor, Love, and Thunder. To be honest, I don't know what I'm thinking of that movie. Um... I mean, Thor is also, also Thor is uh, like one of my favorite uh, Marvel characters, but the way I've seen it, um, first I thought it was really great. The way I've seen it, uh, like a another time, it's either good or bad. It's between of it, but um, that's a bit okay. Um, this just is some doofy things that is going on here. But, uh, yeah, that's Thor Love and Thunder for you guys. I know a lot of people did not like it for some reasons. And, yeah, I'm just putting it okay. Alright, so, next movie. Okay, so, what else, what else? I have not seen Ninja Turtles in Netflix, I believe. But I really liked Ninja Turtles since my childhood, so I was putting not seen. Because I will be planning to see that one. I mean, Ninja Turtles are like my childhood show. Along with Spongebob. But, um, I haven't seen it yet. So, I'm just going to put it right there. Alright, so, what else? There's just like many, many, I haven't seen Luck. Because I don't have Apple TV. Um, I hope, oh, wait. Pinocchio. Oh. The, uh, the Disney live action of Pinocchio. Um, Tom Hanks did a good job as uh, Geppetto. Um, but it's just... I think it's okay. I mean, I really enjoyed that one, but I'm... I'm just, like, surprised to see any parts of it. It just felt uh, kind of different. But, um, I know that it's supposed to be, like, any different. It's just, it just felt the same. Except it has some different parts of it. So, I'm just gonna put, okay. I thought it would be good. But it's gonna do okay, so I'm just gonna put it there. Alright, so. Okay, so. Definitely not interested with bros, because I know that. <clears throat> okay. Um. Hocus Pocus 2. So, I started seeing, um, Hocus Pocus yeah, I think that the first one is a really great one. But, the way I've seen that one, I really, I pretty enjoyed it. So, um... 
I'm just gonna put good. Um, I'm just I just really enjoy that. That's all. If you haven't seen Hocus Pocus, uh, it's on Disney Plus, and there's like two movies right now. But I think it was a good one. And uh, yeah, that was a good one. Well, yeah, I thought it was either great or good, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it good right there. All right, so okay, so what's the next movie? <laughs> Smile. That is a really scary movie, the way I just seen a trailer. But I have not seen it. But my parents does. And they... They probably recommend me to watch this, so I was just gonna put, uh... Well, I'm just gonna leave it there, so... This is not seen. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, Black Adam. Boy, the way I've seen it in the... The way I've seen that movie... I think that was a great, well, well, um, I mean, I, I know it's a DC anti-hero movie, but, um, well, it's more than good. Okay, so it's either great or awesome. Great or awesome. Great or awesome. Um, awesome, I guess, because, um... I did really enjoy that movie. Even though Black Adam has started becoming one of my favorite anti-heroes from anything. I I have like many favorite anti-hero characters around here, so well three or four of them I believe. Or five. I don't know. But Black Adam has started becoming um an awesome movie. So yeah, that was Black Adam. Alright, so next movie. All right, next movie is Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. What do I think about this movie? Well, let me just try to scroll up. So I think Black Panther: Wakanda Forever is one of an amazing movie that I ever see. Yeah, I think Black Panther Wakanda Forever is one of the perfect movie from um 2022. You know, uh when I was when I see it in the theaters, it just made me burst into tears for like two or three times because it just felt like an emotional movie. But it's a really amazing movie. You know, I felt burst into tears when the part when T'Challa died and there's a funeral of him. And that makes me burst into tears. I know it's dedicated to Chadwick Boseman. Rest well, Chadwick. And, um, I know I was, uh... Yeah, I didn't know the fact that I was burst into tears when the part when, um... I forgot her phone name. But when, uh, the queen died from the... From the explosion and the Namor main. And, yes, that's, uh... That's the villain name, Namor. But that... But, uh, uh... She died from the explosion and she was drowning. And that made, uh... Shuri lost her family! Jeez, but speaking of Shuri, the part when uh Shuri became Black Panther, that makes me very happy to see it. I know that she's doing it for T'Challa, her dad, and her and her mother. And um, jeez, and that um, in that song called "Lift Me Up," when the end credits played, um, man, it's it's one of the beautiful movie. That I ever see. So Black Panther Wakanda Forever is beautiful and it's really amazing. So I have to put it in a perfect list. So Black Panther Wakanda Forever, you're going with Sonic 2 and the bad guys. So that's Black Panther Wakanda Forever for you guys. I know a lot of people had different opinions about it, but I just think it was beautiful. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Alright, uh, next movie. Uh, it's on Netflix, so that's Anola Holmes 2. And it's featuring Miller Barbara Brown with, um, uh, with those two movies that she's in. If you don't know who's Miller Barbara Brown, uh, she plays as Eleven from Stranger Things. Um, and I think that, that movie, I think it's a great one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I did really enjoy that one, but if you don't know about that, these two movies, 
of Anoa Holmes or Peter 13. So I recommend you guys watch it if you if you want to. If you're not interested, then you're not interested. So that's that. So Noah Holmes too. Goes to that list. Alright, next movie. Alright, next movie. Halloween ends. Oh jeez, that would be creepy if I would do that. But Halloween ends. So, um, what do I think about this movie? You know, um, let me just scroll up just for a moment. Alright. Put right there, I just need to tell you all. So, um, whenever I see Halloween Ends trailers, it's, it looks really, really exciting. It looks like it is going to be a great conclusion to the Halloween franchise. I was very excited to see it. And, um, I know the fact that this is going to be the, uh, the last movie of Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. And, um, but the, 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 I was really excited to see what's going to happen. But I just seen it in the theaters, and I think it's, it was okay. Yeah, I think Halloween Ends is okay to me. It's just, uh, um, Michael Myers is barely in that movie. And he's like, Ever since uh, he kills literally anybody, like literally everybody in Halloween Kills, he's now in the sewers for like, like what, four years? And he's like still living there. And uh, the, the character named Corey, it's like, he's like, the, like it felt like he's a main character. I mean, it's, it's supposed to, well, I know that um, uh, Lori is still a main character, but Corey's just, just, it's like the main character, which is that's making it feel a little bit confused on why we still focus on him. But then, um, later on, he just witnessed Michael, and now he just, like, felt evil inside of him. And, like, for October 30th, um, he and Michael are just kill together. Well, not kill together, like, kill anybody together. And, um, I know Michael is... Well, before that, um, uh, Michael felt weak. And when he kills one people, he had this strength back. And, um, and he did, uh, he was the original kill in Halloween 1978. But in October 31st, when Corey just, just wrestled Michael and just took off his mask and just, Corey just be like the, the ripoff of Michael Myers, like, wear the mask, he wears the, that clothes that Michael Myers wear. And, um, it felt a little off. You know, um, I thought it would be, like, a great conclusion for the Halloween franchise, but it's just, I don't know, I don't know what I think about that. But yeah, at the end, um, Michael grabs his mask back and he just kills Corey. But, um, I really like the fight between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode. It's just, um, uh, that just surprised me. But I did get surprised for a couple of kills. Um, yeah. Michael Myers vs. Laurie Strode, final battle, like, final fight between these two. That's the one I really like. I really like that part. But I also like the the theme, like, when the opening credits appear, like, you know, like, you know what I'm talking about? The Halloween themes? But that theme, it's really good. It's, I thought it would be, like, a great conclusion for that. It's just, it felt a little bit different from that movie. Even though I love Halloween 2018, I really like Halloween Kills. Um, but Halloween ends, eh, it's, it's okay to me. Um, but yeah, um, I know that, I think that Jamie Lee Curtis did a good job as Laurie Strode in that movie. I know that this is a, like, um, but I thought that Michael and Laurie will die together since, uh, um, uh, Michael's gonna die and he's gonna, like, choke Laurie. But, uh, her granddaughter, Allison, just saved her life and Laurie killed Michael for the, the grinder. So... And everybody was watching, so. But yeah, Halloween Ends, it's okay to me. I know you don't care about spoilers for the Halloween Ends, so. Well, if you don't care about spoilers, but. That's Halloween Ends for you guys. <laughs> but anyways, alright. <clears throat> so next movie. Um, I have not seen Disenchanted. I have not seen Disenchanted. I know there's, I, I know there's a sequel to Enchanted. That's, that's, um. That is, uh, that is what I used to watch when I was a kid. It's been a long time since I watched Enchanted. But I just need to put it on a not scene because I have not seen it. I know it's Disney Plus. I know it's on Disney Plus, so maybe later I'll probably watch that. Alright, so next movie. Um, 
Oh, Slumberland. Um, if you don't know, Slumberland is some kind of a, like whenever you sleep, there's some kind of a, like some fantasy land in your dreams. Uh, Jason Momoa is there. Um, just, just, just it's PG, so you can just like search it up. Um, search up Slumberland and uh, on Netflix, and you probably understand. So, um, for Slumberland, it's great. It's great over here. It's a great one. Yep, right there. All right, <laughs> sorry. All right, um, next movie. Next movie, next movie, next movie. Oh, Strange World. What do I think about that movie? Um, you know, uh, when I first time seen it, well, I thought it was going to be look really good. I'm not going to lie. But, um, the way I've seen it, well, I, I agree with a lot of people out there. It's, it's bad. I'm not going to, I'm sorry. It's just, it's, it's bad. I have no idea what I'm gonna explain it about that stuff. But um I thought I would be really would enjoy that. Well I did enjoy um like one of the creatures in there. But I think it is pretty bad. I mean I have no words to say. If you've seen Strange World, then you probably understand. Um I know one of my friend um saying that it's bad and when he watched it again he thinks it's good. But I think it is still bad, so Yep, that was a strange world for you guys. Okay, so next movie. Um, next movie, next movie. Oh, The Yellow Pinocchio, which is from Netflix. I just seen it. Um, it felt dark. It felt a little dark, but um, it's better than um, uh, the Disney live action Pinocchio. Um, I pretty enjoy that one. Even though it felt different, but this is some other things going on here. So I think. I think it's a great one. I'm gonna like know. Um and I wonder I I know that there's some like similarities around here or some most of it it's different because for some reasons or anything like that. Um this is just uh character designs and well it's just it's just felt like there's an animation from the what is some kind of an climation or something like that. But it's just I pretty enjoy that one. Uh, I think it was a great one. And I did not expect that Finn Wolfhard is voicing the that kid. I forgot his name, but Finn Wolfhard is voicing one of the uh, kids. Um, if you've seen the movie, you'll probably understand. But um, I know Ewan McGregor is uh, voicing uh, Sebastian Jiminy Cricket. You know, that dude who plays uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. But I think it was a great one, so that's that. Alright, so next movie. Um... Next movie is the other ones from Disney Plus. Diary of a Whippy Kid, Roderick Rolls. Diary of a Whippy Kid and Roderick Rolls. What is this? Live action one is better than that. So, um, I guess I will go with the... I just thought it was okay. Even though I'm a, a Whippy Kid fan, but I just thought that it was okay. I mean, it's not very short than in the first one, because that one is like 51 minutes. But this one's like an hour and 10 minutes, which, that felt alright. But, um, I did not expect that. Okay, let me tell you this shocking fact. So, um, so you know that the actor who played as Carl Fredrickson from Up, you know, when he died? Um, I did not expect that, uh, um, you know when, uh, Greg and Roderick's, um, grandpa, his voice is sounding just like him. That's some really shocking. Did he play that character before he died? Man, that's just a surprise to me. But that's one that is just a surprise to me. But I think the movie is okay. Um, so, that was the uh, Night of Whippy Kid Roger Rules for you guys. Live action one is better than that. So, alright. Um, yeah, I'm a Whippy Kid fan. Just like, you know that I read any books. And I'm like, almost done with a new one. But anyways, next movie. Oh, Avatar The Way of the Water. Hmm. So, um, the way I've seen, I know it's three hours and 12 minutes, and I didn't even need to sleep. Literally, it's not even boring to me. Okay, um, well, I did see the first Avatar. I think it was a, uh, a really good one. Um, if you have different opinions of Avatar movies, you don't have to. It's just respect. Anyways, um, 
He's a dirt or great. Dirt or great. That's just... That's just... This just made me surprised. I mean, Avatar is bad for the sequel. Um, even though it's been a long time since I've seen the first one. But I actually seen the, the second one before I get a chance to rewatch the first one. But Avatar The Way of Water is a pretty great one. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it didn't felt long. It didn't feel boring to me. It's just really a fun to see. But it's it's not even well. Um, yeah, the movie is just a. It just felt equal to the, the first movie. But um, so that was the Avatar: The Way of Water. So, yeah. Um, I had the feeling. I had a feeling that DC League of Super Pets is either good or great or something like that. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm just leaving it there, I'm sorry. I just thought I didn't need to change my mind for that. Alright, so, so far, this is what it looks like. Okay, so, alright. Next movie. <laughs> Violent Night. <laughs> uh, I know that movie, I haven't seen it. But, um, it's by R, so any kids are watching that, don't watch it. I'm just trying to save your life out there. But Violent Night, <laughs> I have not seen it, but I know that David Harbour, who plays a hopper for Stranger Things, and he plays Red Guardian from, um... Uh, from Marvel, which is Black Widow, but he playing as Santa and jeez, oh, this is a brutal or something like that. But all right, next movie. Oh, it's from another Disney Plus, Not in a Museum. I think that's okay. So yeah, I think that one is okay. I really like Not in a Museum franchise. I really enjoy three of those movies, but this one, it just felt okay. I guess. Yeah, that movie is just okay to me. Is it this animated Night Museum movie? Uh, it's just yeah. I think that three Night Museum movies are better than in the new animated one. So that's a new Night Museum. Just for you guys. All right, we're on our way to the last movie. But first, let me double check before we continue. All right, so I have not seen uh, any of his movies. Well, I did see Bullet Train a little bit since I was in Public One One's house after we did a Game Beast gameplay. Um, well, he did show me. Uh, that movie in Netflix. Since the 15 minutes later, I was getting ready to get back home. So, I believe that counts. Alright, so. Screen 5 is great. Light is either great or good, but I'm just gonna leave it there. Um. Easy Lincoln Super Pets. Um, this is. Oh, Joe, I think that movie is either great or good. I wasn't a fan of the villain in that movie, but, um... Uh, you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it there. Well, I did enjoy that movie. Um, I think, um, I think it's funny. I think it's just, it's... Well, I did enjoy that. So, um, I'm just gonna leave it there. I did like DC, but I'm still a huge fan of Marvel. But I enjoy, I enjoy, uh, um, DC. Alright, alright. Let's do it. All right, so yeah, I've heard you know, so I've heard that um that the whale uh is a really sad movie, uh, which I didn't think I had a uh, streaming service of that. So um, all right, so the last movie under a review for this one is Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. I mean, that makes sense since it's the last movie under a review. All right, so Puss in Boots: The Last Wish. What do I think about that movie? Alright, hold on a second. Alright, so what I think about Puss in Boots The Last Wish? <laughs> well, I think it's one of the perfect movie from 2022. You know, I think that DreamWorks 2022 movies are better than Disney 2022 movies. And I agree to everybody since there's like DreamWorks 2022 versus Disney 2022. But... I think the bad guys in Puss in Boots The Last Wish are equal opinion of mine. Since I know that bad, the first time seeing the bad guys, I think it was awesome. But then I see it like two times in Netflix. And it started becoming one of the amazing ones. But Puss in Boots The Last Wish is one of the amazing sequel in last year. Like uh, Sonic Movie 2. But Puss in Boots The Last Wish, it just made me a surprise while I was in the theaters. I did really enjoy that movie so much. It started and became one of my favorite um, uh, DreamWorks movies, along with the bad guys and um, any uh, movies like um, How to Train Your Dragon and Madagascar or 
something like that. But Pusa Blue's the last wish. Let us say it's just made me a surprise. Pusa Blue's had a crazy adventure about this some kind of like some shooting star. If uh, anybody is trying to get it, um, will have a like uh, their wish. But yeah, I did really enjoy. I did really enjoy the the characters in there. Um, like, Katie Sophos returning in the movie, since, um, the first Pussy Boots movie. But I did really enjoy C. Perito. I think he's a really great character. And I did enjoy, uh, Goldilocks and Three Bears. I think they're good characters. Well, I, I did like, uh, Jack Horner, but I didn't like him that much. So, um, I didn't think he was really great, a great villain for that. But Death? Boy, it gives me goosebumps for that. Since, <laughs> because, um, when the first time I'm seeing him, it just gives me goosebumps, goosebumps. It's mostly because of the whistle. You know, like, like, I can't whistle, but you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, um, I think that Death is, um, a really, really great villain or antagonist or character or whatever it is. I, know, I just thinking about it since, um, uh, Papa One One talked to me about this since he watched that too. Um, he didn't think that him being a villain or a tyrannist counts since he death is just doing his job. But yeah, I get it. He's doing his job. Yeah, I get that. But we all can think that he can be the villain in the tyrannist if we can tell. But um, I really enjoyed it. It started became one of my favorite. Uh, 2022 movies along with, uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Sonic Movie 2, and The Bad Guys. And, um, that's one of the, um, you know, the perfect movies. So, let's move to the last wish. You'll go right next to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Alright, so, oh yeah, let me tell you some fun fact. Um, when I did, um, hang out with Papa 101, um, we did have a conversation about the, any movies like DreamWorks and Disney and all that stuff. Um, well, I did enjoy the bad guys. Like, he did really enjoy that. And I did tell him that, um, that, they did tell him about one of my friends, like this, for example. Um, I did tell him, and I was like, one of my friends really, really loved that movie. And he's like, oh, I can tell. I was talking about T Walker, but, um, but, um, yeah, that is, that is what I was explaining about that. All right. So, that's all for 2022 movies. Should I just, Explain over the TV shows or something like that. Alright, like, um, Stranger Things, like Stranger Things Season 4 it is one of the perfect one. And Cars on the Road, this is on Disney Plus, is pretty awesome. Um, Moon Knight is great, uh, Mrs. Marvel is okay, and She Hulk is pretty bad. I did not like that. And, um, I think that's it. I think that's any shows that I've seen about that. But, uh, I'm just saying about that. Alright, so, that's all. That's it for the, uh, 2022 movie tier list. Alright, I think that's all I have to do. So, oh, wait. Should I just review 2023 movies? Like, for a couple of them that I've seen? Yeah? Okay. Who am I talking about? Movie Sonic, of course. <laughs> okay, anyways. I just want to do the um, review Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania and Super Mario movie. Just for fun. But Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania, it goes to do, um, probably awesome. It's mostly because of that, that fight scene that I really like of Ant Man and the Kane. But I, um, I think it's either awesome or great. So, um, but, um, I'm, I think it was awesome. I, Thing so far, but Mario movie goes along with a perfect one. So, um, yeah, I think the Mario movie is one of a fantastic one. But no, I just like to do it just for fun. But I know these two are not from last year; it's from this year. But I just like to do that for fun. But yeah, that's all I have to do since I forgot to do that since like January. Um, so let me know in the comments below what do you think of. Any movies in the movies that you have seen that have not seen. So, um, so this is all I have to do. I think that any, I think all of the movies are really enjoyable from last year. And I'm really excited to see any movies for this year. I'm really excited to see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, 
Fast and Furious Tan, what Fast X. Um I'm very hyped for the Marvels and um I'm looking forward for Elemental and I'm I'm mostly excited for any movies that is from this year that are whatever I've heard. So that's all I have to do. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think of those movies? And especially the movies on a not seen list if you've seen it. So if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It's turn on notification bell, so don't miss a video for anything like that. And what is your favorite 2022 movies? And I know, I know what my friend T. Walker's favorite 2022 movie is. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!